Aiden is in here acting a damn fool. He's touching everything. He's about to knock my lights over. And I'm about to two piece his little ass. I know y'all hear him. Like, what is your purpose, bro? What do you want? What do you want? You're free. Why you want to be in here with me? Like, this child is crazy. So, this probably isn't going to last because, let me be realistic nothing really lasts in my hair like besides like gel gel so it's probably gonna last i'm probably gonna have to redo before the video is over but i was like let me do something to these little joint joints because i never do and i become like looking crazy for y'all but whatever the case may be i'm gonna do my eyes first so i did my brows with my benefit precisely my brow and goof proof brow both in the shade four and i cleaned them up with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. Y'all, this is the real deal, okay, y'all getting today? Because normally, I like edit around, like, the kids sleeping and all that. But I was like, okay, I need to record. And that's what be going on. You, The baby's growling because he just woke up from a nap. Aiden's banging. What is life? So I'm going to take this P. Louise beige, beige base in a rumor four. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Or a lot of it definitely a lot of it um i'll do one eye at a time i don't the last time i used this base to be completely honest i didn't like it so hopefully this time around like i think i used it a couple times and i never really loved it it never really was like like it is for everybody else because i know everybody else that uses it is obsessed and i want it to be obsessed but I wasn't. I'm gonna give it another try though. And I'm using yellow today. So yellow is the next color in my color series. So I figured this is light. And I think this is the lightest concealer I have. Like lightest base that I have. So since it's yellow and yellow kind of be faking on us chocolate girls. Um, I figured I would use this to maybe get the best result my tv is definitely on in the back and i'm watching now you see it on disney <laughs> like what a time the 2000s was like before 2010 like what a time that was if you were born in the 2000s i'm sorry sis but like if you were born in the 90s and like the 80s and you grew up in the 2000s like this shit was really undefeated. So this is the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm just gonna hit, I'm just using this yellow, obviously. That's all I'm using is this one color. So let me see how it looks on this base. Um, it looks, it looks, it looks okay. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to see. It looks kind of dark, darker than it is in the pan. A little bit kind of, but it looks all right. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a liner today since this is yellow. And yellow is really light. And not really light. It doesn't really pack a punch. So I'm probably going to do a liner just to add something. See? That's that shit I was talking about. Look at that. Look at that shit right there. What the fuck is that? See? Now I got to wipe this shit off. Okay, let me go wipe this shit off. This is all I'm gonna do, literally to my eye. But let me go wipe this shit off, and then I'll be back. We just reapplied the base, smoothed it out as much as possible, then just pack the shadow on my lid first, and then blend it out around the edges. I don't feel like I should have to do that, especially now with the eyeshadow base, eyeshadow base, not concealer, something that's made to work with eyeshadow. I don't feel like I should have to do all the unnecessary shit to make it work, but nonetheless, whatever, we moved on, we made it work. I just don't really understand like what the hype is about like because that's not the first time that's happened and it'll be like patchiness 
when I use that base and I literally use that base like I use every other base and every other concealer that I use to prime my eyes and it just never really works out for me the first time ever and sometimes it never works out for me in the process but I did just go ahead and pop on my little lashes in NYC and I popped on some liner honey swing came to cut a bitch today um and now I'm gonna jump into the face so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize I'm gonna take this Saturday skin water cream to moisturize Do I want to do my face normal today? Like how I would usually do it or how I've been doing it? Because I've been doing it's kind of fire. I'm going to do it the way I would normally do it. So I'm going to take my Hourglass Vanish Stick in Sable. <sighs> Y'all don't even understand how much this base just stressing me out. Like I just knew it wasn't going to give me no problems because all I was doing was putting one shadow on top like I wasn't cutting my crease I wasn't doing nothing because where I actually went wrong the first time I tried it was I was using it to cut my crease so I was packing it on top of the eyeshadow instead of wiping the eyeshadow off first like on my lid and it was breaking apart and that pissed me off because I don't normally have to wipe off my eyeshadow that's on my lid to actually get a clean like cut crease and that pissed me off because I'm like no these bases aren't like a thousand dollars but like I don't buy shit just for it to be not work out and everybody like hypes this shit up like that pissed me off that everybody hypes it up and don't come in my comments talking about you don't know how to use it it's a fucking eyeshadow basis like I don't even understand how you don't use the eyeshadow base correctly like don't come in my comments popping off at the mouth you might get carried, just so you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take, I think my L'Oreal concealer, or do I wanna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer? I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer because this is what I used to clean up my brows today. And I'm just going to pop that under my eye. This is the shade Fawn. Miss LA Girl still does not disappoint. Point. Can we get into this blend under my eye? Can we get into how hydrated my face looks right now? How happened my face looks right now? Like, let's get into it. LA girl, still no disappointments. I set my under eyes a little bit different than I would normally do. I did set them immediately when I blended this out, um, but I only set like right where like my eye creases at because I have natural creases, so it, I can't really stop the creases. I can just keep them at bay I guess so they don't just be extra so as you can see the rest of my face still looks like I haven't set up which I haven't so since I just set right here I am going to still cream contour so I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty matchstick in Espresso because I don't mind contour after I set um, my face but not my face, but like my under eye. But I noticed that once if I put too much powder like right on like my cheeks where like the blush and all that goes, then shit just starts hitting the fan and I don't need none of that in my life. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out with this brush. I don't know what this brush, like where it actually is from, like the brand. I know I got it from TJ Maxx. I just don't know what the actual brand is called. Okay, this contour looks like it's ready to cut a bitch. Period. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back under the contour with my sponge. I didn't add anything else on it, but this is what I blended out my concealer and my foundation with. So it's a good little mixture of the two, just so everything looks flawless. I know y'all hear the little nursery rhymes in the back, the voice. It's kind of like nap time-ish, it's two o'clock. So 
Adrian's, nope, Aiden's in the playpen, Adrian's in the swing. So, yeah. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This as a bronzer. Bronzer contour situation, like, Oh, hold on. Guys, I'm going to blend that out. Just bear with me. But this, this on the face. Like you're kidding. This on the face as a contour bronze situation. I've been shaken. I've been stirred. Yeah. I haven't used this eyeshadow in so long, which is crazy because this used to be my favorite eyeshadow. I should you not. I used to wear this on my um this in my crease. Nothing on my lid. Some black liner on my lower lash line. And some red lipstick. Wow. What a moment in my life because, y'all, that used to be everything to me. I'm shook by that. Ooh, should I add some more powder under my eye? Like, just a little bit? Since I didn't, like, press any powder down there like I normally do, I'm going to add a little bit. Like, tap that on there. Tap it off on the back of my hand. Do I want to cut like a little situation? Just a little bit, like a little bit. Okay, so my face looks so good. So for blush, I'm going to take this LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in the shade Just Fearless. And it's kind of like a mauve pinky, purpley. Yep, I suck at describing colors, but that's what it is. I'm going to take this Equal Tools brush. And I'm basically just going right over where I contour. Oh, and this shit is pigmented, but it's literally like five bucks. But it's so pigmented, so make sure y'all be careful if you have it and you just haven't used it yet because this shit gets out of hand quick. I don't know why I feel the need to put blush on my nose like that, but like, I feel the need to. So as y'all can see, every step I do, I go over everything with the sponge. Every single step I do. I do this on my clients too because I like for everything to be just melted together. And I notice when I don't do this, I don't get that same like melted effect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line now. So I have this orange liner. It's a lip pencil and it's from Nika K. Nick a k cosmetics um it's like i said a lip liner so use at your own risk don't say i told you to do it but like if you want to do it like go ahead with your bad self and i'm just gonna pop this on my lower lash line okay you know it looks like something that definitely looks like something so i think i'm going to should i put orange under there and keep it kind of bright yeah i'm gonna dip back into the palette and i'm gonna take the orange shade right here and i'm gonna go back into the yellow as well to buff out my lower lash line 
actually for the rest of my colors like because i'm doing brown and i'm doing purple i can literally use this palette <laughs> what are the odds and i'm tapping that over top right over top of the liner because i really didn't put it on my waterline just my lower lash line I just thought about it. For every other look, I did black liner on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back and do some black liner. Okay, so I go, I go ahead. <laughs> I went ahead and popped on some black liner in my waterline. And can y'all get into my lower lashes trying to prosper in this quarantine? Like, <laughs> good for them. So I'm gonna do my lips. I still gotta do highlighter, but I'm gonna do my highlighter first. JK, 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 JK. So I'm going to use the Anastasia and um, Reezy highlighter. I use it so much and I still have not made one dent in this highlighter. So let's just get into that because that is a miracle. Do I want inner corner highlight? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna put some on my nose first. I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna kind of focus it towards the top of my nose. And I do have some like on, I'm about to say the butt of my nose. the point of my nose um and i will put some in my inner corner like look at that shit. I want some of my brow bone, like, I'm going OD today. But it's only one shadow, so, and it's yellow. So this is the finished look and honestly yellow is like super soft and I am obsessed with this. Like this is a look I will wear every day. Like let's be realistic. I mean to be honest for me any look is a look I will wear every day because who will check me? 
a nobody boo um but this is super soft like for somebody else this would also be soft not just for my crazy ass and i am obsessed like my ponytail is kind of like my, my butt is kind of janky but you know whatever my face is be so period 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 okay um i love this my skin is looking nice and set and i didn't even set my whole face with powder today i literally just used my matte 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 spray from maybelline but this shit is fire but that's like i say for this a video i think i have about three more color series videos that are going to go up after this video and there's two videos i have to go up before this one so i'm literally going through the color wheel we're going we're hitting all those shits together okay but that's all I have for this video. So like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.